this is my face. I've already moisturized and I've primed my face and I'm just gonna directly uh, jump into these two foundations, okay? Oopsie, scoopsie, quite a lot. You just need a little bit. And the reason why I'm using the Urban Decay, my shade is 60, is because this one is pretty dark. So we need to sort of neutralize it by adding a little bit of the white shade to it, if that makes sense. I've used a lot over here, but I'll have to remove it actually. So I'm going to use 04. This is the brush by Kiko. And I'm just going to buff in the foundation. I always like using like two shades for blending because it just gives more of a natural look rather than you know just using one color. And the stippling brush actually is so good. And I'm going to use my beauty blender. This is just to sort of blend in everything and just sort of mattify it. Just take everything in the hairline. Today I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector and I'm going to use 02 just to sort of get into the darker areas. Now this, because being a bridal look, I'm gonna give like a lot of coverage, especially in the darker areas. So over here. And using the Beauty Blender again, you're just going to dab the product so that it sort of sinks in nicely. After you have put the foundation on, you have done your correction, you're going to come to the concealer and I'm going to use Maybelline Aged Rewind. This is neutralizer. You can use the same brush. I love this concealer, man. I am so in love with it. So you're going to put it in your laugh lines. And the reason why you put it here is just to lift up a little bit. Okay, then you take your beauty blender and you just blend. Because I used a darker color for my base, it sort of helps to sort of naturally contour the nose. If you can see, I've put the white shade over here, the concealer here. And this is my foundation, so I haven't contoured my nose yet, but it automatically helps the nose to get more contoured. It just makes it easier. I'm going to leave the brows right now. I'm just going to put a little bit of powder. I'm going to use 57 from Kiko. And this is NYX palette. I'm going to take a little bit of this color and just dab it on my lid, just to make like a base shadow. Okay, when after this is done, I want to fix my under eyes. And definitely, I'm going to go with this shade over here. Your laugh lines, you need to fix it. It sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't work, so don't kill me if it doesn't work for you guys. Okay? Just saying. I'm going to take Kiko Milano's number 10. I'm going to use these two shades. I'm going to sort of lift my chin up. So I'm going to have like a little bit of shadow above my chin. So guys, all you need to remember is that for every face shape, there is different type of contour. 
So, you know, I just have to keep in mind, but this is the most like common and the popular one that I'm doing. So you're pressing the temples and making the face look thin with the powder and you're going to clean up. Now, it is important to clean up because you don't want the shadows to look like super messy and stuff. Now remember guys, this is like full crazy coverage that we're giving. Then you can wipe the brush, obviously you don't want the strong line. Okay, then I'm going to take Kiko Milano 07 and then I'm going to use Hot Mama by The Bomb. And I'm using this gorgeous corally orangey shade which has like a pinky undertone to it. See, with my face, according to my features, these things need to be pressed. So I am pressing. And it naturally has like a little bit of goldeny tone to it, if you can see. It has like a little bit of glow as well. I'm going to take this highlighter from the NYX palette using the Kiko Milano fan brush. And I'm just going to apply it on the outer corners. a little bit just to give it like a nice glow but I don't want to overdo it also at the same time because that is not what I want. This time I've not gone golden but this is like beautiful white color. I'm using Dip Brow Pomade. This is dark brown. Okay, and then I'm going to use NYX Brow Mascara. This is chocolate. This will make the brows lighter, actually, because it looks really dark right now. Today I'm using Master Palette by Mario. So the first transition shade I'm going to use is going to be Lula. So keeping it here in the middle and then window wiper motion. Sorry, you guys can see. Then again, Kiko 52, I'm using a flat shader brush and I'm going to use Fifth Avenue. on the lid all the way. You start from the bottom and then you go up. Okay, then with a fluffy brush, this is 56. I'm going to take Bronis. This Bronix, it's like a beautiful olive green color. We're just going to use it in the outer corners. Oh, it's pretty dark. I thought it's going to be light. And for the highlight, I'm going to use, this is 53, this gold color, which I'm going to use it on my brow bone. Girl, we are going super bridal here. So I'm going to take this pencil brush and take a little bit of gray. I'm using a pointy brush just to create like a little crease, but not too much. So over here in the outer corner, just keeping it inside. That's it. Taking your blending brush, just blend the crease. And we are taking these Urban Glitter Liners. This is Glam Rock and this is Distortion. And I'm going to combine these two together to put it on my lids, just in the center. I find the glitter liners to be so much easier than to apply like proper glitter. So here. Easy breezy for girls who want to do it at home. I'm going to take bronze again and just apply it in the outer corners just a little bit. 
just halfway and we stop over here. Then I will take Isabel again with a small shade of brush. We're just going to blend the, br uh, the green and the brown. Then I'm taking Sephora in finite beige eye pencil. I'm going to apply it in my waterline. And I was looking for a nice white bright color but I wasn't able to find it. So this is the new dude palette. And I'm just going to take Fabulous. Just a little bit, just to add it in my inner corners, just to brighten up my inner area. Just a little bit. This much is enough. So the liner I'm using, this is YSL 40 Mean. That's what it says. And then I'm going to use my Cat Von D liner just to sort of shape it up. Actually, this is the best liner for beginners. For the beauty, of course, my favorite Scarlet Lashes. It's the perfect lash for a bridal look. I promise you on that. You just need to invest into these. And the good thing is that you can reuse them again and again. It's not like you use it once and then, you know, you throw it away. Now time to add some mascara. Just gonna add it on my bottom lids. Now let's go to the lips. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Melted Lipstick. This is Coral. So I'm gonna outline my lips, like bright orangey color. Okay, then I'm gonna take my Cat 1D. This is Noble. And again, it's a peachy color, more with a whitey undertone. So this is the final result. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and I'm going to see you next time with another look. Till then, you take good care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye guys.